think it's gonna rain. Welcome back. Today, real briefly, we're going to talk about outdoor time and how it relates to your vision health and myopia and those glasses that you may be wearing. Outdoor time lately has been in the news a fair bit because there's been this speculation that that outdoor time and natural UV light slows myopia progression or improves your eyesight. And that's all based on some half-baked study that the mainstream just, everybody copies, all these journalists copy their news stories from everybody else. So it's just, it's all based on nonsense, basically. I'm a fan of outdoor UV and I'm a fan of outdoor, yes. However, just by you going outside isn't magically gonna improve your eyesight stop your eyesight from getting worse. We'll keep this really short today as a quick explainer and it'll be two parts. It'll be one part blog readers, YouTube audience, and the other part back to 20 participants, back to 2020 participants, which will be in the second half. If you have access, you'll get both pieces. So the short version is you do want to get outside because there is no way to stop myopia progression and fix your eyes on your own by just sitting in front of a computer, right? Like the problem with losing your distance vision in no small part is the close up. If you didn't have close up, you wouldn't have myopia. That's just, if you ever wonder why suddenly everybody's nearsighted and they weren't 50 years ago, there you go. Close up, the close up strain, the strain on your ciliary, on your focusing muscle, causes a muscle spasm, which makes it so you can't see far temporarily, technically. And then when you get glasses to, to actually counteract the focusing muscle problem, which dies, this is a stupid idea. Then you start needing more and more glasses because hyperopic to focus, because you're wearing glasses for your close up when you shouldn't, all that stuff. Close, I mean, outdoor time, doesn't address that problem. So it's not gonna fix your myopia. At the same time, you're not going to improve your eyesight without going outside. So double-edged sword. And the big, am I using analogies totally wrong? Whatever. The big thing really is going outside is going to help improve your vision if you know what you're doing. And I'll try to remember to link stuff below on active focus. Really a key point is you shouldn't be overprescribed, so your glasses shouldn't be letting you see clearly to the moon. You should see clearly, but at the end of the range where you need clear vision, there should be a little blur challenge. There should be a way for you to go, I can't read the sign clearly, but if I try, and I'll link active focus below because that's something that you have to figure out for yourself. You can make something that looks blurry become clearer by wanting it to. You can readjust the focusing muscle with practice. So when something looks somewhat blurry and you can't quite read it and you stare at it and you blink at it, it will clear up. Maybe not the first time you try it, but eventually. That combined with going outside is going to help improve your eyesight. Now, if you're overprescribed to a point where everything is just super pin sharp, you're not gonna be able to do that. So if you're just casually watching this uh, there's a several steps that you'll have to figure out before you get to this point where you can do something tangibly. Um, if you are a frequent blog reader, then you've figured out what you're doing. You have a reduced normalized prescription, much to the disdain of the mainstream. And then you can practice active focus, which will do the work for you when you go outside, right? And then also you need to reduce the, the close-up strain. You can't stare at a computer for six hours straight. You need to go outside. You know, after I say after three hours, you need an hour break outside with active focus. Most people go, eh, I can't go outside for an hour. So th those are the things. I talk about it a lot in the blog, hopefully link below. And I talk about it a lot in Back to 2020, how once you put all the pieces together, don't be overprescribed. Take a break after a couple hours. Go outside and don't just go outside, but use active focus. Those are some of the contributing factors that are going to stop myopia progression and improve your eyesight. So the takeaway, I guess, from this is get outside more, 
but don't expect magical results to happen just because you go outside. The, the glasses in front of your eyes, the strength of the prescription in front of your eyes is going to determine a lot of what you can do. And then if that is the right number, you can see clearly, but you have a little challenge, then it's still up to you to challenge your eyesight, learning how to do that. You know, it's everything has a learning curve. Nothing in life is free. But if you do those things, your eyesight's gonna improve. Was this just a big tease? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're in Back to 2020, stick around because I'm gonna tell you more stuff. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.